good day everyone. How are you? Are you excited to learn something new today? That's great! Let's get started! Let's review your lesson about solution and suspension. Just raise thumbs up if it is a solution and thumbs down if it is a suspension. We have water and soil. Correct! It's a suspension. How about tea? It is a solution or a suspension? Very good! It's a solution. How about water and rice? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Very good! Thumbs down. It's a suspension. How about stones and water? Correct! It's a suspension. Let's have an experiment. In this activity, the materials we need are two clear glasses, water, powdered milk, salt, flashlight, and spoon. First, you need to prepare the materials. Place two drinking glasses side by side. Label setup A for the first glass and setup B for the second glass. Now, for 3 fourth glass with clean water. Put 1 spoon of powdered milk in the glass in setup A and stir. Next, put one spoon of salt in a glass under setup B and stir. Observe what happened. Using the flashlight, Pass the beam of light to the two mixtures from the side of the glass. Observe what happened to both mixtures. Let's answer some questions about your observation in our activity. What have you observed when the source of light was pointed through setup B? Yes, the beam of light passed through it because it is transparent. What type of homogeneous mixture is setup B? Very good. It's a solution. Now, what have you observed when the source of light was pointed through setup A? Yes, the light scattered.
Again, using the flashlight, pass the beam of light to the mixture in setup A, which is the which is a combination of water and milk. Observe what happened to the mixture. What have you observed? Yes, the beam of light is visible and the light is scattered. Milk and water or combination of milk and water is a special kind of mixture known as colloid. What is colloid? Colloid is a special kind of mixtures that contains very tiny particles that cannot be seen by the unaided eye. It appears to be homogeneous mixture, but actually, colloid is a heterogeneous mixture. Now, try to compare the particles of colloid to the particles of solution and suspension. What can you say about the particles of colloid? Yes, colloid particles are larger than the particles that form a solution, but smaller than the particles that form a suspension. Let's take a closer look to the particles of a colloid. What can you say about the movement of the particles of colloid? Yes, particles move rapidly and collide with or bump each other. This motion of the tiny particles is called Brownian motion. In our activity a while ago, Using the flashlight, we passed the beam of light to the two mixtures, and we found out that the beam of light scattered in setup B. Setup B is an example of colloid. The scattering of light in a colloid is what we call Tyndall effect. Colloid reflect and scattered light, therefore, a beam of light passing through the setup was visible. Again, the scattering ring of light in a colloid is what we call Tyndall effect. Colloid can be in solid, liquid, and gaseous form. We have here a mayonnaise. A mayonnaise is an example of colloid. What are the uses of mayonnaise? Yes, most of the time, we use it as salad dressing. And mayonnaise is a colloid used as food or for food preparation. There are different uses of colloid. Some colloids are used for food or for food preparation, such as whipped cream, cheese, butter, gelatin, and icing. Other colloids can also be used for personal grooming such as toothpaste, lotion, and facial wash. Other colloids are also used as cleaning agents. For example, soap, shampoo, and dishwashing liquids. 
Also, there are colloids for protective and decorative functions, like paints. Today, you learn about colloid. Colloid is a heterogeneous mixture on which a certain substance does not settle out or join with the other substance. Also, different uses of colloid. Colloid is used for food or food preparation, cleaning agents, personal grooming items, protection and decoration materials. Now, let's find out if you learned something from our discussion. Identify whether the following mixture is a colloid or not. We have paint. Correct, it's a colloid. How about whipped cream? Very good, it's a colloid. How about mixture of water and soil? Yes, it's not a colloid. Vinegar and cooking oil. Yes, it's not a colloid. And last one, soap. You're right, it's a colloid. That's all for today. I hope you've learned something new. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.